Chinese authorities have tightened security in Tibet and ethnic Tibetan areas of China to prevent protests marking the 50th anniversary of a failed uprising against Beijing. A year ago, violent anti-China protests shook Tibet's capital Lhasa and neighboring regions. China says 19 people, mostly Chinese civilians, were killed in the riots. Tibetan groups say about 200 Tibetans died in the crackdown that followed. One year later, there is talk of renewed dialogue between the Dalai Lama's envoys and Beijing. Over the weekend, the Tibetan government in exile in India expressed optimism about further talks. But a Chinese official on Tuesday downplayed expectations. Xinzha Tenzin Shodra spoke to reporters in Washington. During these rounds of dialogue, the Dalai Lama has raised requirements with the central government. We believe these requirements and demands are not in line with reality. Xinzha said the Dalai Lama has misled the world. He dismissed the Dalai Lama's middle way, a proposal that seeks political autonomy for Tibet rather than independence from China. As for the middle way that the Dalai Lama has proposed, I believe it is sheer lies. Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao said on Friday, China is willing to hold talks with the Dalai Lama's envoys, as long as the Tibetan spiritual leader renounces separatism. On Saturday, the Tibetan government in exile said it welcomes further talks, and it is seeking genuine autonomy for the Tibetan people. Earlier, Sam Dong Rinpoche of the Tibetan government in exile said, it is up to China to resolve the problems of the Tibetan people. Now the ball is uh, in the PRC's court. They have to uh, take the initiative. And uh, we are very much hoping that they will uh, make the way appropriately uh, in foreseeable future. The Dalai Lama has long said he is not seeking separation from China. Later Hong Fincher, VOA News.